dive compass is a waterproof instrument used to navigate above water on the surface and at depth. It determines direction by means of a free rotating magnetized needle that always points towards magnetic north. The compass has several other moving parts and features. A lower line is a straight line that represents your direction of travel. The free rotating white surface displays the north arrow in and calibrated degree marks around the perimeter. The numbered ring around the outside of the face is the rotating bezel, which also displays N, North, and S, South reference marks. To navigate, hold the compass line out front and level with the lubber line pointing straight ahead. Rotate the bezel until the North reference marks are directly over the North arrow. To follow a straight line, move so the North arrow remains directly below the reference marks. If you get off course, the arrow will move to the right or left. When this happens, stop and correct your direction of travel until the arrow is again directly beneath the end reference marks. To use a console mounted compass, after setting the reference marks, hold the console level and out in front with the lubber line pointed straight ahead. Swim so the north arrow remains beneath the end reference marks and you'll travel in a straight line. When using a wrist mount compass, hold it out in front and level with the lubber line pointing straight ahead. Extend one arm forward and place the compass hand on that elbow, forming an L. Using either type of compass for best results, sight over the face rather than looking down at it. To return to where you started, stop and turn around until the tail of the north arrow is directly below the end reference marks. Always keep the compass level so the arrow rotates freely. Once the arrow is positioned for the reciprocal course, keep it beneath the reference marks as you swim and you'll end up where you started. This video is for demonstration purposes only and not intended to replace formal scuba instruction. For more information, contact your local dive center.